Okay, so here's my Victron install. I've got a class A motorhome, it's 30 foot, and uh, I replaced all of the house batteries. There were two 12 volt lead acid batteries in here. I replaced them with uh, the single 100 amp hour Battleborn 12 volt, so it's a 12 volt system. And uh, the products I have from Victron are the MultiPlus uh, 12 3000 and the MPPT 130 solar charge controller. I also have the BMV 712 battery monitor. And on the roof I have 200 watts of uh, solar and uh, that's coming down through the, this. Uh, let me turn the light on here. coming down from the roof through this uh, cable here and let's see if I can adjust the okay that's better it's coming down through this uh, this power uh, cable here uh, through a 40 amp uh, fuse that can be disconnected and uh, I've got uh, several things going on here uh, firstly uh, what you're probably noticing down in the corner there is a custom made Raspberry Pi 4 control board and uh, what that's doing is it's providing the uh, Venus OS on board that allows me to monitor both the uh, the MultiPlus, the uh, smart solar controller and the battery uh, as if this was a, uh, a Venus uh, uh, GX uh, device uh, running the Venus OS and then that little control board on the outside, that's simply just connected into uh, the uh, 12, uh, 12 volt DC system and converts it down to five volts to power the uh, Raspberry Pi. But you'll see the uh, three uh, USB connectors coming into the Raspberry Pi, uh, th uh, yeah, the Raspberry Pi 4. Actually, two of those uh, uh, connectors are simply uh, do-it-yourself versions of the VE Direct cable that I've done. Uh, what I did was I spliced in um, JST uh, connectors on the other ends that allowed me to connect them into the MPPT and the BMV. Uh, but I also have an MK3 USB connector that's tied into uh, the bus here for the uh, MultiPlus. Uh, a lot of cabling here. I tried to be as tidy as I could can always do better and I'm learning so uh, yeah uh, let me see if I can just pan around here see this this is a custom strap that I added here I fabricated that uh, just to hold the, uh, the the battle born in place and the wood paneling along the back is actually it's uh, three quarters uh, Russian Baltic birch, very strong, and it's tied into uh, the chassis here, which allows me to mount things easily onto the, uh, you know, the, the wood here, rather than trying to drill holes into the metal of the chassis. I uh, made my own uh, bus bars. So I went online, uh, checked the specifications for the amperage that I was going to be drawing. Uh, came up with this and uh, it's really thick copper bus bars so everything's tied into that. I'll, I should have also mentioned too that I have the uh, uh, I think it's the 500 uh, amp uh, shunt included as part of this setup as well so tying it all together yeah uh, one other thing I should mention so I have these um, uh, the positive and the negative 12 volt uh, DC connectors so they're going straight back into the bus bar here and what that allows me to do is take the 12 volts from the battery for the DC system of the coach and pass them along through to the fuse panel uh, towards the front of the chassis here uh, that's the chassis fuse panel so it's getting the 12 volts uh, through these connectors uh, and then uh, it runs it through the uh, the chassis fuse panel and then up to the the uh, fuse panel that's inside the coach for all of the 12 volt accessories so that's how that works uh, and it's also connected through the Trombetta uh, solenoid battery solenoid so that uh, it gets a charge from the onboard alternator and passes it back through those cables 
when it needs to and it charges the the Battleborn while I'm en route when the engine started in certain conditions. So that's all I have. Uh, like it so far, it's been providing great uh, performance. Uh, had a camping this past weekend and we had uh, uh, situations where we didn't have uh, the mains, so the shore power, and the inverter kicked in and was able to provide uh, some of the uh, the wattage required to power just some of the, the onboard devices here because it is just a 100 amp hour battery at the moment. Plan on building it out and adding more batteries over time just to, to add to, com to the capacity so uh, that'll all grow. So quite happy with it so far. Uh, as I said, uh, I'm still learning so this was uh, this was a fun project for me. So hope uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, drop me any questions if you have them. There was a lot that I learned, uh, a lot of uh, education involved in this, and uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a good, fun, exciting project for me. Thank you. Bye.